Hi everyone, today I'm going to explain you how to use the MikaSense uh, equipment in the field. Uh, and the first thing I'm going to do is locate uh, the GCP where I take off and land. So uh, let's go uh, to the first GCP. So we have uh, located uh, the GCP, uh, which is the takeoff and land GCP. And I'm going to start uh, preparing myself. So the first thing I always do is I take my uh, spectral cloths and I put uh, one of them uh, in front of the GCP like this or the target and I put another one here so now they are well aligned uh, it's important to do it the same uh, way every time you will be flying so on all of the different missions then uh, the, the next thing I do is I unbox the drone so um, you will be familiar with your own drone uh, what you will have to do up front of course is do the integration in the other video and you can lay the drone um, on the target itself um, and then you will prepare your drone by um, mounting the different props so this is done uh, as usual by clicking them on like this and then you will have to put in a fresh battery turn on the drone turn on the remote and uh, exit travel mode, so where the drone has to go up. Not like this, but like this. Okay. Like this, perfect. So. The next thing you do is you shut down the drone again and then we're going to mount the MikaSense camera. So the MikaSense camera comes in the MikaSense Red Edge box. So it's always important to keep it uh, safely inside the box. Uh, you take the camera and then you look at where the wire comes out and that's the front of the camera. You just put it in the socket here and then you just give a gentle twist just like with any other DJI camera. The next thing you're gonna do is uh, you're gonna take the wire uh, coming down from the sensor on top and you're gonna make sure uh, they are well wired and then you're gonna connect it to the DGLS GPS connector uh, right here like that perfect so once that is done it's important to always check that the camera is pointing uh, approximately five degrees to the front uh, after that you can uh, position the drone um, another thing to check is that there is a USB Wi-Fi uh, stick which is not the case here so I'm gonna get my Wi-Fi stick from my uh, integration kit box okay so I've just found uh, the Wi-Fi uh, stick you insert it into your uh, MikaSense USB port right here where it's written Wi-Fi and then you can uh, turn on the drone after having checked that everything is well mounted and that the cables won't interfere with the propellers here you can for example put a, a little zip tie or something you just make sure the cables are never gonna get into the props it's important to uh, take into account that the drone will also uh, convert during flight so you turn on the, the, the drone and this will also turn on the camera uh, automatically so uh, normally you should see a blue LED light on the GPS uh, this will uh, indicate that the MikaSense has also booted up correctly. Uh, the next step to do, and it's also all written in the manual, this is a good moment to tell you that everything is actually also uh, in the manual. But the next step is to actually connect the iPad through Wi-Fi with the MikaSense. That's why we use the Wi-Fi dongle. So um, it's very easy. You connect... Uh, to the Wi-Fi of the MikaSense. Uh, all of this is also explained in the little manual uh, present in your box. So on the first page, you have a blue uh, corner here. And this will explain you that you need to uh, browse to the MikaSense and type in the right IP address. Um, this will enable you to actually browse uh, with your iPad on your MikaSense and change the settings. So two things to do is to check uh, if the MikaSense has sufficient space left on the uh, SD card, but also uh, settings like front overlap need to be uh, managed from there. 
Once that is done, you can uh, safely remove uh, the uh, Wi-Fi dongle from the MikaSense because it's, uh, you, you shouldn't leave it in while flying because then it's not going to take the pictures. Uh, and then the next thing to do actually is to start planning your flight. So uh, you use the, the, the DJI remote together with your iPad and then you open Atlas Flight, the app. Uh, it's also explained in the manual where you will load the, the correct fields. So it's important that you uh, plan your field up front uh, at home on your computer uh, where you plan the boundaries of the flights to be mapped. And then you can find it back into the Atlas Flight app where you will load uh, the boundaries and the, the app, the, the, the to fly boundaries. And then you can click on fly and the drone will actually execute it automatically. If you need more than one battery, the drone will come home um, and you will be able to swap the battery and click on continue. Important before you click on takeoff, so uh, you load the whole flight, is to use the calibrated refractance panel that you got also with the kit. So uh, this is used to uh, calibrate the camera uh, used in the MikaSense. So how it works is that you will uh, identify where the uh, shadow comes from. So the sun is coming from here in this video. Uh, and you will drop the panel like this, making sure um, the sun is in your back, but you are not creating shade on the, uh, on the calibration panel itself. Everything is also uh, neatly written inside the panel, if you might forget, and in the manual. Uh, so you take the drone when, when it's on and the flight is loaded and then you will uh, position it uh, like this above the target and then there is a, a small button, aluminium button on the camera that you will have to press three times. So one time and it's also uh, interesting because uh, if you're standing at the right side you will see that there is a LED and it will flash blue whenever it takes a picture. So it's, it's nice to uh, look and now I see the blue LED and I take a third one like this and these are the three calibration targets it's important that uh, you don't have shadow on this area of the calibration target then you put the drone back and you try to take off as fast as possible so it's important to always calibrate before and after the flight so the next thing to do is actually to take off so I'm gonna take off um, you just go to the Atlas app and you click on start and the drone will take off automatically. Once the drone has landed, um, the first thing to do is take him and take again pictures of the, uh, of the target. So by clicking on the button once again, not making shadow, one, two, three times. So, and then what you have to do is um, start by turning off the MikaSense first by pressing uh, five seconds on the button. Shutting down the LED on the camera itself, but also the LED in the GPS. And then it's safe for you to turn off the drone. It's important to always uh, shut down the camera before the drone because the camera will be logging the, uh, the light with the light sensor continuously. And if you don't do this, it might uh, corrupt the SD card because it's, the camera is still writing on the SD card while you are shutting it down. After that, it's important to actually check the pictures on your computer. And then if you need to fly an extra flight, uh, you continue by uh, inserting a new battery, taking pictures of the calibration panel again, flying, landing, taking pictures of the calibration target again, and so on. Uh, whenever you finish the flight, you can pack everything not forgetting to take back the uh, calibration cloths uh, with you and then uploading the data on the platform. Thanks for watching this video. Uh, I hope you will do just fine.